crew for an ongoing full feature and highly anticipated projection called Grey State. Grey State is less a movie than it is a warning. Unveiling of this race state, foisted upon America. The thing that you have to begin to understand about conspiracy theory is that Producer David some point, Crowley, not his 28 no year old wife, Holmes, and young daughter, Connie, were found dead in their Apple Valley, Minnesota home after not being seen or heard. Well, you you talk about the end of prepping for Megadeth. The bastard of it all is that you've heard of everything. In war, unemployed, and uh, particularly also people in the grey economy, which are not counted for. Uh, and FEMA, and FEMA takes the lead in implementing the policies that you approve. Mainstream media have labeled it an apparent murder-suicide, but hear for yourself what police found when they arrived on January 17. Around 2.35 mentions that the officers found the rear sliding door unlocked and slightly ajar. Notably, there is no suicide note. Details linking the event to a murder-suicide have not been released except to call it apparent. A black handgun on the floor next to the family is, so far, where the investigative details end. In other words, definitive information of what happened to the Crowleys is either unknown or unreleased. Yet, in a low attempt to frame the entire situation, Daily Mail headlined their story gun enthusiast, his dietitian wife and their five-year-old daughter lay dead from murder-suicide in their suburban home for weeks before neighbors discovered them and featured pictures of Crowley in movie gear. With so few details known, that is an incredibly disrespectful and reactionary way to create a different story stemming from a tragic event. The Gray State Facebook page hasn't been updated since late November 2014. After experiencing a data wipeout, the crew mentioned they were working to get back on track and were on the brink of releasing the Rise film online for free. It was during this time, that he and business partner Mitch Heil parted ways.